All right, everybody, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. It is about time. I have been waiting for one of these updates for what feels like an eternity. But this is probably one of the coolest things and tabs that I've seen in a while. This is the, quote, wheelbarrow tank. So, <laughs> look at that. There's one guy throwing corn, one guy throwing apples, and there's uh, the driver, the pusher, and then the, uh, and then the guy with a pitchfork. Actually, wait, is the guy, okay, the guy throws corn and apples and he alternates. The guy at the front has the pitchfork, and then the guy at the back pushes it, right? So, this is literally one of the funniest units in the game. It just shows the creative, what would you say, creative prowess, creative, the imagination that Landfall Games has. And you can see them fighting a bunch of peasants, but it makes you wonder, like, I feel like the farmer faction might be one of those factions that... Landfall really really loves and is putting a lot of like they're seeing like hey It's not just farmers like we can really make this one of the coolest factions in the game Just by how unique they are right, but what's also interesting that I started wondering about is That tab Z totally accurate battle zombilator. I think a lot of us are seeing that while it is a cool standalone game and it was an April Fool's prank, it actually could evolve into a game all of its own, but it also could be being used as kind of a test for first person mode for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, right? So if that's true, then, you know, first person uh, modes and controls will be coming to tabs if that is true then you could imagine that the AI could be pushing your wheelbarrow and you could be the dude throwing the corn and throwing the apples at all the peasants. But I really would love it, and I understand if they don't, but my plea is that Landfall puts out an update, you know, at least like, at least like once every other week. Ideally, once a week would be great because I, I just love tabs and I, I love getting any news, any updates I can on it. It's just a game that I like. It's the game I'm looking forward to the most. And I've already put up so many freaking videos on this game. And it's technically not even released. It's it's kind of funny. But um, I've always been one of those guys that like gets in games. I like the betas. I like the alphas. I like seeing the potential and seeing the development. And it's not all too often that you actually find a developer that has not only a good concept in alpha and beta, but then executes the game. I feel like that's just one of the things. Um, in our time that we're seeing is a lot of game developers will be like snatch up all their money in the alpha and beta stage And then kind of like eh, whatever, you know, we already made our money We don't have to do it and I think that shows a lack of passion and a lack of belief in what they do and I've digressed But you know what? I believe that I believe that we will win. I believe that once this game is released You know it I, I there's always those games that kind of set trends and kind of dictate the future right minecraft was one of those and it's actually while it was great it was one of those that kind of got people on the dark side game developers on the dark side they got to see hey you know we can get all of our money in the early stages but and it changed the development of video games by being it by how well it sold during its alpha and beta stages prior to its actual release but anyway so landfall games has released an update for the wheelbarrow tank one of the coolest and most unique things now if there's any preview that we've missed and i think there's one or two that i might talk about in the future that i've kind of had in room you know running around in the back of my head special things like one was kind of a secret hidden in one of the previews and one was just a unit that i missed but anyway if you guys know of any that i missed let me know we'll get in you know we'll cover them and ladies and gentlemen let's get right into the action welcome back totally accurate battle simulator all right guys so if you haven't figured it out by now tabs is not being canceled that is what you would call an april fool's joke so while tab z totally accurate battle zombilator is a fun game tabs s totally accurate battle simulator is not being canceled so that being said the first voted suggestion comes in from michael tanus or tanus this is the battle of tab z so We've got the humans in red, and it is led by two M16 wielding handsome gentlemen, myself and the Blitz Kriegsler, since we went on our little co-op adventure and explored Tab Z. So, what Michael said was, whether they instantly knew it was an April Fool's joke, Baron and Blitz explored this game to its fullest. Here's a small representation of their adventure. So in the red, we've got two M16s as Blitz and Baron. You know what, let's start this. 
By the way, this is the first Tabs battle ever on the new PC, and it looks like it's running fairly well in real time for how many enemies are on the boards, and it looks like Red is getting wrecked. <laughs> oh, that cannon guy got shot from behind by his friend, and he killed two archers. That was amazing, and that cannon's wrecked. Yeah, it looks like Blue, the zombie faction, is doing pretty well. But anyway, let's go over this. So we've got two M16s on the red team as Blitz and Baron. One Trump as the fellow who we encountered, and he was, and we kind of had our little America, you know, enjoyment. Actually, we got, speaking of which, he's still up right now. Oh, he, he's getting hurt. Oh, I think he's dead. And then Blitz and I are both dead. We've got the Blister. <laughs> this, we've got a Super Boxer. And look at that. This guy's dangerous. Knocked it out. Blue victory. We're going to have to edit this. Okay, so 15 thieves as, uh, you know, survivors with knives. We've got Vikings as red nomads. We don't have any laser pistols because check this out. This is on the new computer. You must complete the campaign to unlock the neon faction. I have to go back and complete the campaign in order to get the neon, guys. So that might be good for a stream. Kind of get in there. Oh, man, I, I cannot tell you. I'm honestly very frustrated right now because when you set up a new computer and try to get everything working. I'm on Windows 10, which I dislike. Maybe that's because it's new, but I loved Windows 7. I knew where, I knew what, I knew to, how to do everything. I've got recording software issues with editing software issues and compatibility. Let's just say I'm getting wrecked right now. Anyway, so we've got two ninja masters as those with the MP5s. We don't have any beamers. <laughs> we have peasants as noobs who enter the game. 11 ninjas as those with the Makarov pistols. 13 spear throwers as those with shotguns. 23 archers as those with revolvers. Musket men, the guys with repeaters. Cannons as the two cities. And the ballista in the back as the military base. The blue faction. So this is both the enemy players as well as the Vikings. So the enemies of red are the hostile blue. We've got no laser pistols. <laughs> we got thieves as peasants who are enemy noobs, musket men as city dwellers who keep sneaky, vikings as blue nomads, and then we've got axemen as the enderman zombies, headbutters as great as the goat zombies, 45 peasants as normal zombies, taekwondo as kicking zombies, three chicken men as the mysterious altars of the game, samurai masters as the extremely tall glitch zombies, a cannon as the bridge with the endless fall, 12 knights as zombies who attack you in the maze, We've got a super boxer who's the great zombie. I'm just gonna make him a chicken man because I don't I don't think a super boxer makes this even close to being fair. So we're gonna make him a chicken man. And then, uh, yeah, the giant as the giant zombie in the forest. So, hey, we're gonna have to figure something out. I think maybe we gotta put our ninjas a little further back so that Blitz and I have a chance. Now, they're, they're definitely they definitely kill, you know, there's some friendly fire going on here. Let's see who wins there. Hopefully our ninjas do. Um, and I think, I think let's start this battle once again. And then hopefully it works out better for the reds. So let's, let's kind of check out the front row here. This viking. Let's see what happens to this viking. He runs into other vikings. His axe gets stuck. Oh god, that bearman just killed like three people. Including one of his own friends. But the red faction is pushing forward. Oh, he's gonna run into a giant bearman. If this bearman, oh, the bearman got taken out. We've got a samurai master here taking M16 bullets to the face. Blitz and I are still alive. We got some dead guy with a knife. He couldn't shank your breath. And actually, surprisingly, looks like we're doing pretty well. We're gonna defeat the zombies. Just a few M16 rounds, and we got what one. Oosh, oosh, oosh. One shot to the chest and an arrow to the knee. So, well, something just exploded in the background. Let's go ahead and see this from the top. But yeah, anyway, guys, I'll be honest. Like, as cool as this new computer is, there's, like, those growing pains. And I'm trying to get everything back to where it was. I went on a trip to Austin, Texas. I was brought out by Bethesda to play the new game Prey. And anytime Bethesda asks me to come somewhere to play a game, I'm going to say yes. Because I loved Fallout 4 and Fallout 3, and I want to be in line to play Fallout 5. I mean, in, what, five years when it comes out. So it looks like Mr. America here is getting hit in the head with a chicken. America! You guys remember that? Oh, he took a shot to the elbow. Oh, right to the heart. Now we got this guy who's distracted by somebody. Who is it? 
Oh, it's a ninja over there. Okay. Um, and it looks like he's gonna get America. Or wait! Incoming arrow! Oh, right in the knee! And the archer takes him out before Mr. America can do it. On to the next one. Alright guys, so this is Top Text's Battle of the School. So the school is being invaded by outside forces. They could be communists. I don't know who Paris dropped in. What movie is that from, guys? Anyway, so in the red corner are the invaders. We've got five muskets as annoying shooters, ten thieves as snipers, a cannon as the bomb, twenty peasants as low-budget shooters, thirteen vikings as raiders, fifteen archers as regular shooters, two energy pistols as advanced shooters, uh, no beamer, because we don't have the neon faction yet. I didn't realize till I already started filming. Deal with it. And 15 Velociraptors, because why not? And I'd have to agree with you. Why not have Velociraptors? Now, blue's the school kids. 20 peasants as unarmed kids. 15 barbarians as kids who found weapons. Maybe they're using their giant textbooks. Yo no se nada. 20 thieves as kids who were in the cafeteria. And energy sword is the principal. Actually, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and put the principal in. But he's going to be a samurai master because we don't have energy swords. Uh, Bearmen as teachers and 10 velociraptors as why not. So if they lose, we can supplement their forces. Here is the initial battle. I'm guessing that blue's going to get wrecked, honestly. I mean, having range in the back, they've got muskets. Their, their melee forces have won. If this guy... Oh, I was going to say, if that guy could get to the musket... That would be really good. Wow, that cannon just wrecked one of his friends. But, you know, that is pretty pretty typical for tabs. Now, there's enough red forces in the background you can see meleeing that I don't think... Actually, this guy. This guy's going to have to win the day. He killed him. Oh, he dodged the cannonball. He dodged a musket shot. Come on. Ooh, Bearman. Bearman, kill somebody. Oh, no, the barbarian's down. Okay, wait. This is actually going to go down to the wire. Oh, the Bearman's dead. This guy's probably going to take a cannon to the chest, and it is going to be a red victory. All right, so I, that one was so close that I think if we were to divvy up our forces differently, they might be able to do better. And I think how we do that is put the barbarians on the flanks. All right, let me put right there. All right, guys, uh, let's see. Maybe even, you know what? Hold on, hold on. I'm also going to put the principal at the front. And I think that as a result, well, not necessarily the direct front, but in the middle. So he's got a little bit of some shields, but then he's going to start hacking people up to hopefully allow more blue units to survive. Let's see. He's got through. Oh, yeah, there's a lot more blue guys alive, but actually there's a decent amount of red. The Bearman is killing up these Vikings. Oh, club that guy. This guy lost his club and died. He's got a knife sticking out of his back. Okay, uh, the principal is alive, and there's a few bearmen, and the barbarians are surviving on this flank. No, they're not really, but they're distracting them. Oh, that barbarian got wrecked. This barbarian's gonna get shot. Oh, he was so close. But there's four people alive. Oh, that cannon killed its own. Yes! Okay, it looks like the school kids are gonna defend the invaders and get shanked. <laughs> yes! That was beautiful. All right, let's run that one one more time. So the headbutter velociraptors at the beginning, they definitely are really good. Oh, look at that guy just trucked upside down. I love it. Oh, one of the cubes went off and just evaporated a huge part of the map. If this guy can get through, but he's going to get targeted. Oh, he got shot by a musket ball. A lot of things are dead right now. And the principal is down. As a result, I don't think Blue's going to be able to win this one. It depends if this guy... If, no, what are you doing? Slap him! Club him! Kill him! Smash him! Finally, you did your job. Oh, wait. Does he make it? Place your bets now. In the blue corner, weighing in at... Just got shot. Oh, no. He's going to shoot him in the armpit. Oh, that guy died as a result. Wait a minute. Oh, Blue won? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, guys, now I hope your creative juices are flowing at this point in the video and you're leaving that comment on what custom battle you would like to see next. And if you see one you like, make sure to upvote it. That's how the process goes. It is a democratic voting process. And I love you guys' participation. All right, guys, so this is Jack Attack's Battle of Verdun on the map of Japan. So the red faction 
Oh yes, are the Germans. And the blue faction is the French. Viva la France. Now we've had to edit some things. So there's supposed to be a flamethrower who's going to be a Tesla coil, but as you remember, no neon factions till we stream and complete the campaign. And I think how we're going to do that is I want to stream. I don't know when it'd be because things have been so freaking busy. It's got to be soon. I want it to be soon. I mean, I want to stream so badly. It's been really frustrating, if I'm totally honest with you, just the delays that have happened. But I digress. So anyway, we're supposed to have a flamethrower guy as a Tesla coil for the Germans, but I made it, uh, you know, I made it Hillary. Actually, you know what would be better, more appropriate, would be a uh, Ninja Master, just because they throw a lot. And, you know, pretty good. But there's a lot of muskets. Anyway, so, moving onwards. We've got 10 cannons as tanks. I decided to put them all on the front line. I want to see cannons versus cannons, just absolute destruction, right? Now we've got the no laser pistols as infantry. Instead, I put guys with knives, because why not? We need some bayonet charges, right? Um, 20 muskets as infantry, 10 spearmen as a bayonet infantry, 2 ballistas as artillery, and a ninja master as the general. And you know what? We could change that later, but a ninja master as the general for the French, 5 cannons as tanks, 4 catapults as artillery. Well, plus one, because because I can. 30 muskets as infantry in the trench, but you'll notice that the line doesn't allow for many blue men to be put in the trench, so I could only put a few in there. But I did the best we could. And then we've got 15 Vikings as Norwegian reinforcements. They're all on this hill here, so it could make for an interesting charge. And then a laser rifle. Well, we don't have neon, so they ain't in it. So let's start the battle, and this is what I want to see. I just want to see cannons flying by each other. How is that? I thought... I thought all these cannons would be dead right away. Oh, incoming catapults! Oh, yes! Come on. Oh, man. Someone's gotta shoot a cannon. How is it? There are actually three blue cannons alive right now. Oh, this guy's actually gonna make his shot go down. Oh, it hit a catapult. This, this spear thrower guy is messing up this cannon. Let's see what happens when he fires next. <laughs> <laughs> that bayonet charger basically killed that cannon. That's hilarious. And actually, these catapults are doing very well. I thought the Germans would wreck the French, but the French are winning right now. Oh, and the, the catapults are what's doing it. How are the Vikings? Where are the Vikings? Are the, all the Vikings dead? How did the Vikings die? We gotta see that. We're gonna run this one again. Just to kind of see what exactly happened. I wonder if a guy could fall in here. Look at this. We, I, didn't, I didn't even know you could do this. See, this is the first time I ever noticed that. In the what? How many times have I played this map? Like, gotta be a hundred. But, yeah, let's see. Alright, there is the Ninja Master that has taken a few muskets to the face, but is still charging. Oh, that's the German flamethrower, right? Or it could be the General as well. So the Germans did end up winning. Now, what if we made the General's uh, Samurai Masters instead? Let's do that. So we're going to put the generals off in the back. Now, let's see. How do I want to... I'm going to take some of these. Actually, I'm going to take all of them. And I'm going to put them on this flank. That seems pretty good. All right, so let's see how all these guys died. Oh, they got in the trench with the uh, ninja master. And they all fall and they, they don't have their shields up. So as a result, they're going to get even more wrecked. They did kill the flamethrower guy, though. Oh, look at that stone just fell down here and pushed this guy off to the side. Didn't kill him. Oh my god, the carnage. You gotta love these absolutely chaotic battles. So here is the German general. He's getting chased. This guy actually has a shuriken in his back. How's he... <laughs> what just happened? He just lost his spear. I mean, his shield. And he died. Oh, that guy took a ballista bolt to the chest. There's a lot of friendly fire happening. Uh, once I think the French are gonna run away with this one, but the general's still alive He's just trapped and he keeps getting musketed. So he's gonna get shot in the trenches to death poor guy Come on get out of the trench. Yes get out of the trench slay them. Oh That didn't work out too well, and it's a French victory So ten muskets to the losing side that would be the Germans Let's add that and that'll be the last battle of Verdun. Let's put some here. I don't know why not. I mean, why not, right? Why not? Why not? Why not? It'd be fun. It'll be fun. It's for science. Just absolute carnage. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> everybody on the front lines is dead. Come on, catapults! 
Just carnage. Oh, that cannon wrecked everybody. The last French cannon. Can you do it? Can you defeat? Oh! Where'd that cannon shot go? He's still alive somehow. Oh, he's dead. I think he got shot by musket, friendly musket fire from the rear. We've got musket men in the trenches. Stone's just fallen. This guy's got a nice little sniper spot. But he's, a oh, he decides to, he decides, oh! <laughs> shot in the face in the air. What a shot, someone needs to be promoted. And it looks like the Germans are still getting beat, man. Even with the reinforcements, their general is getting wrecked. Oh wait, here's the flamethrower guy. If he can get up there and not take a musket ball and stop face planting the ground, come on, keep crawling, keep getting better. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. Stop, stop throwing him yet. You got? Oh, he. Yeah, they're having a bad time. Germany looks like they're just getting wrecked, guys. I just, I don't think they can. They can't overcome the adversity on the battlefield. And all these French musket men have this cover and they're just they're just shooting the ground. They don't know what they're doing. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to say that the Germans lost this one. Wow. Friendly assassinations. Yeah, the Germans lost again. I don't know. Spoiler alert, the Germans lost World War One. <laughs> Alright, and so for the final battle of the day, this is by PewDiePie. LOL. This is the zombie outbreak has happened in Tabs. Their goal is to cancel Tabs and replace it with Tabs E. The landfall military must try and fight the zombies. They leave some weapons in the base for the survivors. So, the military is the red faction. They've got a lot of M16s, the AK-47s. They've got peasants on the flanks. Uh, lots of thieves because we couldn't have energy pistols. And we got, um, let's see. Vikings as axe fighters and uh, lots of soldiers with repeaters. So, but then you look at the zombie faction. They've got axemen as the skinny endermen, two super peasants as super skinny men, 30 headbutters as the goats, and 40 peasants as zombies. This is going to be one and done, I think. I, I think that these M16s should be able to keep the super peasants at bay. Because the AK 47s are just absolute. Oh, yeah. It wasn't even a, it wasn't even a challenge. So both super peasants are over here on this flank. Oh god, they're actually getting loose. This could be bad. Come on. I think they need a few more musket men to keep pushing them back. Oh no. Oh no, is, 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 are they gonna do it? Kill that man. Dude, super peasants are so, oh, he shot him. He got one. This is the last hope for humanity. You gotta keep hitting him. You gotta keep hitting him, he's getting the hits. It's not looking good though. Oh no. <gasps> he did it! Tabs is not cancelled. Confirmed here on the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hope you did enjoy. We got our custom battles going. We got a preview. It's another great Tabs episode. So let me know what you'd like to see in the next one. Place your votes. If you see one you like, make sure to up like it so it's more than likely to be chosen. I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'm off to figure out some computer problems. So cheers guys. We'll see you in the next video.